Hello, what up, and welcome to the next part of Dishonored Knife of Dunwall. It's been a little bit since the last one, for no real reason other than it just has. Though, I have made a massive change since then, and I actually went back and replayed the whole DLC by myself, and went down the low chaos route of minimum killing. The reason being that this DLC does not take into account what you did in the main game, which I suppose is irrelevant for me because I don't actually have any saves in the main game, due to extraneous circumstances that I won't bother explaining. But uh, it doesn't take into account what you do to Dowd in the end of the main game, and it just goes by your chaos rating. I haven't seen the ending to the Brigmore Witches yet, but I can assume the higher, higher, sorry, the high chaos ending presumably is a load of rubbish, and I don't really want a rubbish ending, so. Yeah. Also, you may remember in the last mission, when you start off, you see Billy murdering some poor fool. Turns out, if you do low chaos, she only knocks him out. And we're gonna see another thing that's changed by your chaos rating right about... now. Doubt we've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men, and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. Yeah, if you're high chaos, it's not actually Billy, it's just some random dude in black. With a pretty cool voice, and that was weird, it almost like... He bobbed or something when I walked. Anyway, that's pretty irrelevant. Now I'm gonna read something, because y'all know how much... I know how much you love me reading. Meeting Dowd. I have no idea why Billy's journal is here and oh my good sweet Cthulhu. I don't particularly feel like reading all of this. So, you can just sort of like pause as it goes. Yeah. I don't even remember any of what this says and honestly I could not give a single doo-doo. All right, now back to the game. Oh, another thing I did was I got, if we, powers, I got agility because I'd never done that before. I felt like, I had like 55 to 60 hours on my Steam thing without ever actually getting agility, and it turns out it's quite wonderful. Check it out. I can friggin' Halo jump. So Dowd has evidently been playing some Halo. Thankfully not too much Halo, because if he did, then he'd only be able to carry two items and would just cower like a sissy in the corner and regenerate his health like a bitch. And that would just completely ruin the game. So, yeah, it's none of that nonsense. So, uh, yep. Oh, kind of hit off the roof there. But yeah, so this actually makes life a lot easier having this. It's surprising the difference this makes. And scrolling through... That means you don't have to use blink as much, which is nice, you can just jump up and climb. Always good. Now, the main deal here, of course, as they said, is these overseer bastards are here. I'll just listen to what they say. ...for personal glory enacted prematurely. Careful. Your careless words will bring us both down. You worry too much. Hmm. Anyway, so they've come and attacked, the cheeky beggars that they are. And they have a number of our men hostage, whom we have to save. One of them is up on the top area. There's another off in that direction somewhere. And the final three... I think it's five in total. Or is it four? Might actually be four. Well, the final ones are outside, and that shouldn't be a concern. Why is nothing showing up in six? That's a bit... Oh, it's in five. Why is it in... Oh, yeah, yeah, because I was playing... Break more witches, and you have an extra power in Break More Witches, so I moved this up to number six. Of course. That makes total sense. Now oh, da -da 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 -da. Whoops. Yeah, I don't normally bother climbing up the full chain. I normally hop out the window first. I just wanted to see what was up there. And we've seen what's up there, and now we don't have to worry about it anymore. Now let's see. Alright. He's up there. Oh, he's gonna see me. My voice just went a bit weird. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Wait till he turns around. 
That's right, come on. There's nothing to see here. It's a completely uninteresting window area. It doesn't even have a window in it, there's no glass. It's just, just a hole in the wall, essentially, at this point. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, and you saw a little subtitle come up there. They're going to repeat that dialogue ad nauseum. It will never stop until you either kill or neutralize. Though I suppose neutralize could be interpreted as killing. Uh, kill or incapacitate. There we go, that's much better. The other dude. They won't stop. They will never stop. They can't stop. Now, what's this? Whirlwind. Don't care, it's a combat skill. I should come to think of it just for my own personal checking. What are my things? Drinking from fountains recharges health. Yeah. Recharges health. I think it would say replenish. I don't know. It just makes more sense to me. Joking is faster. Yeah, right. Any other things? Well, I'm not really going to be killing anyone. I may as well pick this and then... Why do I have five? I'm sure I had four. I made some upgrades and to bring more witches. Maybe they carry over. I don't know why they would, but you what never know. Where is okay. Now they will eventually kill whoever it is they're interrogating, and obviously we don't want that. You're only so, from death. what do I actually have this equipped? Oh, it's number three. Alright, good. Well, in that case. And... I think that one's gonna miss. As such, I'll just be right behind him. Nope, it's gone. And there we go. Oh crap, did he just fall down? Oh. Well, he's not gonna get seen by the other guys. I was worried he'd be seen. I don't really care if he died. There is a certain limit to how many people you're allowed to kill. Isn't that right, lad? We'll just untie you. <laughs> I'll await your signal. Yes. Maybe a little salute thing going on there. Actually, no, I think that was just the uh, teleportation. Sometimes they do a salute, which is always nice. It's nice that they show a little sign of respect, and in here should be, yep, a blue one. I played the mission a bunch of times in preparation, though it's been a few days, so I may forget certain aspects. Plus, I've been playing, as I said, the Brigmore Witches, which is a really cool DLC. Even better than this one, which is always... A bonus. Now, how do I get down there? Well, I mean, I know how to get down there, but how should I get down there? Because, again, I don't want those two dudes down there noticing me. One might say, why not just take those guys out? But it's my own sort of obstinate desire to interfere with the guards as little as possible in stealth games. It's how I roll. At least how I do now. Years ago, I could not have cared less. I would just strangle and choke and stab the living hell out of everybody. Ooh. Look at those god rays. They're quite nice, aren't they? Now, the next bloke is just up ahead, and I can't use magic, nor can I jump particularly high because of the music guy, so that's obviously unfortunate. Will I even be able to make it up there? I highly doubt it. I'm gonna be careful with him. Cheeky beggar up there. Yeah, oh good, someone's seeing me. Him all the way up there! God, he's got some eye range, hasn't he? He's not like a Metal Gear Solid guard. They can only see like three feet in front of them. Yeah. Just leap away, did you? yeah, he probably did. Now, let me just... Hmm. Okay, I can suddenly use my magic again, which is absolutely fantastic. So, I'm going to abuse the living hell out stop time. And I don't particularly feel like wasting another bolt. So I'll just do that. Glorious. Can I loot you? No, I can't. Well, that is a goddamn shame. I'll watch for your side. Yeah, you best do that, boy. Don't want to disappoint the Dowd. Now. Yeah. Nice. Let's see. Bone charm up there. The rune is up there. There's a twat up there. Best uh oh crap, he's seen something. He hasn't necessarily seen me. That's what's important, but he's seen his friends. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Yes, somewhere, but you know. Nowhere you know of, so... Mm. I find it a bit weird that they don't wake up their friends. Uh, in that regard, tranking someone has kind of the same effect of killing them, in that they are completely taken out of the game. Okay. This is a waste. These ones never talk. Let's see. 
think we'll just do this again. This seems to be the best thing. Oh, yeah, best do it now. He's about to uh, go full asshole. And there we go. Perfect. We splashed in water. No, oh, they haven't drowned. That's always nice, I guess. I'll survive. <laughs> I'll await your signal. You know, the last bloke said that. Well, yeah, if I didn't know any better, I would say you were just, uh... Wait, hang on. Hang on just a second. Okay, okay, free one more. For a second there, I thought I didn't actually release that previous guy, you know, where I had to kind of run away. Thought I might have accidentally left him there. I've done stupid things like that before in videos, so, you know, there's no, uh, no saying that I couldn't have. Now, why am I throwing them in the bin? Because I want to. There's no actual concern. There's nobody ever comes down here. Indeed. Yeah. I've read this book a few times, and I've always wondered, can I actually... Is this referring to something that I can manipulate in the mission? I don't believe it does. So, yeah. Now we only have to free one more guy. Seems this is actually going to be a pretty short group of videos, which I'm fine with, because I'm hungry. So, you know, that's always good. Now, I think there's another book in here. Yep, it's a journal. No, oh, it's only little. I think we can stand to read this one. Can't we? Can we? Can we? I've managed to make a space for myself here. Thankfully, Rudshaw is all but completely abandoned. Up in this room, I'm protected from the occasional scavenger and the flooding during heavy rain. Heavy rain. Yeah, that was an interesting game, wasn't it? Platinuming it was hell. But anyway, hmm. I'd like to return to my office in the Commerce Building to see if I can find some of my old books. But I've got to build up the cur- uh, I've yet to build up the courage. Mm. Eventually, I'll run out of canned meat, and then I'll have no choice. No need for courage when desperation kicks in. Yeah, I just picked the sort of generic over-the-top, gravelly English voice. You know, kind of like in Saints Row. Speaking of Saints Row, I got Saints Row 4. It was an impulse purchase. I have a lot of those, because, you know, capricious nature. But, uh, it's a damn good impulse purchase, I must say. It's surprisingly fun. In fact, I have a male character who's cross-dressing in the uh, female version of the presidential clothing, because why the hell not? He's also got a top hat. Oh, uh, yeah, but you guys talk about nothing but cigar and whiskey. Mm. Well, actually, no, that's the cigar, it's not the overseers. The overseers always on about, like, Oh, the newest applicants as weak as the last bunch? Undoubtedly. Mm. But yeah, he's also got an orange top hat. And a mullet. You can't see the mullet, though, because of the hat. Which is unfortunate. I feel nervous. So I'm gonna quick save again. That's how I roll. Rune down there, bone charm there. At this stage, I kind of, I've kind of memorized where they all are, but still, I still feel that need. Still haven't upgraded so I can see people through walls because that sucks. Actually, a concern was raised in a comment. Unfortunately, I've forgotten the username because I don't really pay attention to usernames. You'll note I've never actually referred to myself by my username. I know a lot of other YouTubers do that. They'll always introduce themselves by what their name, username is, but I just don't do that, because it feels kind of weird. But yeah, the concern was, I consider seeing through walls cheating, yet yeah, I'm okay with stopping time. And it's a valid concern, really. That's a valid comment. I don't really have anything to say against that. When you think about it, I mean, seeing through walls is less ridiculous. Less ridiculous than being able to stop time, which is fair enough. The only reason I tolerate the stopping time is it kind of augments the gameplay. Will you stop moaning and just come in so I can take you out? Because I have to go in that room and I don't want to be... I don't want to be, you know, vulnerable. There we go. Almost forgot the word there. Heard some footsteps. It's kind of difficult to hear anything over the demonic noises coming from the room. I mean, good god. Alright, here he comes. I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna hide out here. But yeah, yeah kind of augments the gameplay, whereas seeing through walls robs you of gameplay, right? It robs you of, uh, well, observation, observing the world around you. Like, when I play a stealth game, I try to get to a high point, you know, I look for the enemies, I count the enemies, I observe what way they go, what are they doing, what are their patrol routes, how should I 
deal with said enemies, you know, what, what's the proper course of action? With see-through walls powers, that's gone, that's robbed from you. You're just, you just instantly know where they are, I mean, what's the point? You know, what's the point of anything if you can just see them through walls? It's kind of like objective markers, you know, it's like, if you're just gonna point to exactly where something is despite my character not really possessing knowledge, of anything, then why even have an open level? Why not just have a corridor? Because what's the fucking point? It's like regenerating health, you know? If I'm basically immortal, then why should I even get hurt? Why are there even enemies shooting at me? What's the point? I'm immortal. What's the point in even having a game? If you're gonna have regenerating health. It's just, yeah. So, yeah. Now, only two runes in this level, which I'm perfectly fine with. Seven strictures. The Wandering Gaze. Lying Tongue. Well, that one's kind of obvious. Restless Hands. I think that's to do with stealing. Not really sure what roving feet it, why that's... Well, actually, I saw the fourth stricture book around here somewhere, but I'm not really sh sure if I care. Well, that's obviously gluttony. Wanton Flesh. Fucking... Seriously, what is what every religion and just hating sex? I mean, you know, the last thing I... Last I checked, that's how we make new people. You think they'd be okay with wanting new people, you know, more people to give them tithes and donations that they can sucker. But anyway, let's not get into that. And now, for some insight from Dowd. This map shows a coordinated sweep of the flooded district. But the overseers here didn't stick to the plan. Someone must have tipped them off. Not really sure if that counts as insight or just an observation. Come to think of it. Yeah. Oh, well. I always try to use the appropriate words in situations, because, you know, words are important. Oh, and another side objective I just remembered in this mission is take out all of the music box guys. That one kind of kicks in after you've saved everyone, and I don't need any health potions, which is fine. I definitely need those sleep darts, that's for damn sure. Now, yeah. the last bone, not the last, uh, the second bone charm is actually over there next to that dead body. Which is somewhat disconcerting because you're really very exposed during that. You know, did the music guy come under here? Because sometimes he does. Uh, it would be really swell if he did. He's not here. He's not here. Cheeky git. Oh, and uh, I don't know why it's taking me this long to remember to mention this. This mission is basically the level layout is a mission from the main game, where you come here to confront Dowd, and it's where you decide his fate, as it were. I'm not gonna camp around here for ages waiting for this guy. But he seems to be coming this way, so that shouldn't be a concern. Oh, duh, 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 duh. fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, balls. Okay, well, uh, that's distressing. Okay, good. 